Hello everyone. So for today's card I'm using another Uptown Girls image. This is Uptown Couple Emily and Ryan under the umbrella. And my desk is a complete mess here. <laughs> I didn't even realize all this stuff was in frame but yeah the leaves are from another project which is already linked on my blog. It was a tutorial I did for Crassy. So that was from that and then you'll see some of the watercolor background I did on my most recent Halloween video. I guess shows up too in here but for this card I decided to use this image and just heat emboss it which I did for another craftsy article which if I remember I will link to but basically just showing how you can use um, a line image and rather than color it in just heat emboss it on some contrasting cardstock. So I die cut some MFT Razzleberry cardstock with one of the pierced circle stacks dynamics and then I coated it with my EK Success powder tool just to remove any static so that the um, embossing powder would only stick to the stamped image. And I used Versamark for that. Stamped it onto the circle and then coated it with some detail white embossing powder. With finer images like this I always find like the detail embossing powders work a lot better just because the regular embossing powders because they have thicker um, granules they don't give you as much detail. And then once it was dry like heated through with my heat tool and cooled off. I just used a Swiffer cloth to wipe off the um, EK powder residue so it's nice and smooth. And then for the umbrella I decided that's what I kind of wanted the focus to be on. So I cleaned off my stamp. I just used a baby wipe to clean off that Versamark ink. And then I inked it up again this time with just black licorice um, hybrid ink from MFT. That's what was sitting on my desk. Any black ink would work. And I'm stamping onto some pattern paper and this is from Doodle Bugs Sugar Shop 6x6 collection. So stamp that, then I'm going to trim it out and fussy cut it with my scissors, which I always do off camera. Um, I have yet to find a way to film me fussy cutting because I hold it up to my nose so <laughs> I can see better and get cleaner cuts. So trim that all out. Took a little bit of time with that frilly edge, but honestly this card altogether was like a 20 minute card. Not very long at all. Um, once it was trimmed out I wanted to add some shading and rather than using my go-to I usually use like the warm grays to create shading on paper pieced images. I decided to use pink this time. So I started with RV23 and then I blended that out with 21 and then RV10 which is a really really pale pink and then finally to really make sure it was just kind of blended out um, I just took my zero colorless blender and just went over the edges there to smooth it out. And then decided I wanted a little bit more definition on that little frilly edge. So I just took RV09 and just scribbled along the little frill and on the very top of the umbrella there. And that finished it off. And then as always with paper pieced images I like to um, edge it with a black marker. It just covers up that little white edge that peeks out. And any spots that you know I didn't trim perfectly the marker just covers that up. So then it's like it just looks more finished. So it's amazing how something that small, like that small of a step makes a really big difference in my opinion. So always try to remember to do that. And then Tombow Monomalti lightly scribbled over this embossed image so then I can adhere this fun little umbrella over it. And I love how it just pops over the solid cardstock. So the layout for this card, this was part of the Bellerific Friday Challenge, was a layout which I will post the image of as well on my blog post. Really simple. Um, layout so I decided to go with a big card to fit to the image and the layout and everything so this is going to be a five and a half inch square card and I'm just using more pattern papers from the Doodlebug Sugar Shop pack even that light pink um, it's part of the pack as well there's this light pink solid colored paper and the other side of it is just a nice little orange which I'll use in a minute but I'm just using the Tombow Mono Multi for all of my adhering usually I kind of flip back and forth between that and my Scotch ATG but um, I just use whatever's handy and you can't see the rest of my desk <laughs> just that little bit in the frame that's you know other projects peeking over my desk is a mess right now so I'm just using whatever's handy <laughs> so I had this little strip of um, solid color paper left over from the piece I'd cut for the main card so I flipped it over to use the orange side and again coated it with my EK anti-static powder tool and then stamped one of the sentiments that comes with this stamp with Versamark ink again and then used the same detail white embossing powder and melted that with my heat tool. So I've got my nice little sentiment and then I'm just going to trim that down with my paper trimmer. And um, I've used the same paper trimmer for years. It was a Fiskars one like old as the hills like literally over 10 years old. 
And I just got this one a couple months ago and I am loving it. I love that it's got, there's a little wire um, right down the center of the track so you can see exactly where you're cutting. I love that. Like, I wish I hadn't put off getting this paper trimmer for so long because I just love it so much. So much nicer than my old one that was literally glued together because I'd broken it I don't know how many times. So, um, trim down the sentiment, adhere that to the card front, and then I'm going to adhere that to my card base, which, as I said, was a five and a half inch square card. So I trimmed down a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock to five and a half by 11, and then scored it at five and a half. And then decided to keep the inside super simple, so I grabbed my go-to Memento Angel Pink ink and inked up the image, and I'm just going to stamp on it on the inside of the card and leave it at that. I decided not to add any more embellishments, keeping things simple. I had mentioned in, I think, a couple of previous videos how I was fighting off getting sick, and both Caitlin and I ended up getting a nasty cold, which thankfully was short-lived, but I'm still feeling the effects of it, like I'm short of breath and just blah, but getting over it, so trying to get back into card making and all this fun stuff has been a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> but for my last little embellishment, because I wasn't going to add ribbons or enamel dots or anything, I just grabbed my fruit punch stickles and dabbed it on all the little dots of the umbrella and then the frill and then I couldn't stop there so I started adding some stickles to the bouquet on the image and to the frill of her dress just because and just a light amount not glopping it on because one it takes too long to dry and two I didn't want it to be like just looking like glitter threw up all over it so simple simple fun <laughs> a really quick and easy card with an, I think a decent impact so as always, there will be um, a link below the video to my blog post with all the info as well as links to all the supplies used. So check that out below if you're interested. And thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping my videos. And I will see you all next time. Bye.